All right, guys. Um, I've been on a hiatus for the past like two weeks. I haven't been posting anything. So I figured I'd do this video to kind of like let you know what's going on and give you an idea of like why I want to be like super honest and um, real with what's going on with me and uh, I'm not trying to slack off. I just have, you know, a lot of stuff going on. So <clears throat> first things first, about three weeks ago I caught like a crazy virus. I guess like there's some virus going around that lasts like a month or like three weeks. Like my ears went out, my I, my sinus has been crazy. I'm still like kind of like not at 100% and nothing seems to work. So like I kept going to the doctor and they gave me antibiotics like twice and it didn't work. So I just kind of didn't want to do anything. And just as I was kind of getting better and things were kind of getting a little more chill and I was like ready to start grinding again, <laughs> Um, you know, obviously you know that I'm sober and my dude is supposed to be sober, but he actually relapsed again, um, like a week ago and he did, you know, he, he got loaded or whatever. And I mean, I can't do anything. I can't control what he does. So, um, all I can really do is control my reaction to it. And so basically I had to basically kick him out and tell him that we couldn't be together right now because it's not really an option for him to be getting loaded around me or, you know, be in my life if he can't keep it together, you know? Um, you know, I worry about him and I don't want anything to happen to him, but I think that's like the smartest thing. But that definitely always throws me through a loop. Uh, so it's really difficult. I have to like double up on my sobriety stuff in my meetings and, you know, everything I'm doing just so that I can kind of deal with this in the best way possible because the last time um, he did relapse like five months ago, I think like six months ago, <clears throat> um, it was really, really hard. Like I lost a bunch of weight and I didn't want to go to the gym and I was sick and I was anxiety and all this stuff because I wasn't working a program at that time. And so this time I am and I'm much better with it right now. Like I'm not tripping like that much. Uh, I'm bummed and it kind of sucks, but like at the same time, like he can go do whatever the heck he needs to do. And like, um, it's probably better for me, uh, because this is an opportunity I just take to like grow from, from these situations. Like I used to think if something bad happened, like, oh, like poor me, like, why is God doing this to me? Like, wh why is this happening? Like, and now I just kind of take it as like, well, obviously shit was just going so well that I have to be tested or like, this is like a opportunity for me to grow and like get better. Because every time something like this happens, you know, you would think it would be horrible, but at the same time, I really buckle down and do what I need to do when it does happen. So I'm just kind of like, in a way, it's like a, a growth opportunity and an opportunity to like find out who I am and what I want. And I think it really is, I mean, it's, it, it's horrible and it's not cool and it definitely isn't fair um, for someone to do something that, you know, make a sober decision to do something that affects both of your lives. But, you know, that's part of this disease and it's part of what we do. And unfortunately, even though he was trying and he was doing things uh, the way he was supposed to, he started slacking off on his, um, he wasn't like doing all the things he should have been doing. Like he started kind of like drifting off a little bit. And that's when we're in danger is when we're not like really focusing on our sobriety and making that our priority. It's just a lifelong thing that you have to deal with. And um, I mean, really the best thing to do with, with someone like that is to just push them away and let them hit their bottom or let them figure it out. Um, I'm not, I don't really, <laughs> there is no end to this. I can't say when or what's gonna happen. All I can say is I'm just gonna keep going forward and whatever's in this life and whatever is meant for me is gonna happen. And maybe it's with him, maybe it's not with him, maybe it's with someone else, whatever. But, um, or maybe with no one, maybe I'll just like be with me because I'm awesome. <laughs> um, but uh, me and Sterling are doing just fine and the, and the boys, the bald kitties. And we are doing so many different things right now and I'm trying to like, t basically take this as an opportunity to expand on being a better person and, and making my sobriety the happiest sobriety that can be because if you're sober and you're not happy, then there's really no point in being sober. You know, like there's no point in going through life just like white knuckling it and just being like, oh my God, I wish I could drink or I wish I could do this. Like I don't at all because I 
keep my mental and spiritual state fit. And that way I don't feel like I'm missing out because I'm not missing out. I'm actually doing things I would never do if I was getting loaded. Like I would never ever like take the time to do YouTube videos and like build my social media and like try and build my brand and do all this stuff. I would never do that if I was even remotely getting loaded because the, the second I even take a drink, that's the priority. You know, that is my priority. Um, and I really, you know, I pray for him and I hope that he's, he figures it out because he really is a good person and he's really got a lot of potential, but unfortunately potential doesn't do much without the work to back it up. Um, so yeah, that is the story. That's what's going on with me. And I'm going to start trying to like put everything together and get my YouTube back up and running and, you know, get, start building the way I planned. And uh, hopefully you guys can be along for the ride and I hope you enjoy my videos. So thank you for tuning in.